Hello, today you join me in the second of my series of finding your dream van. With the focus today being on the various different methods of actually buying the van, and I don't actually mean financially. I believe there's four main options as far as this process is concerned, and we're gonna cover them today in this video. You might actually think there's only two options, buy a pre-converted van, or buy a van that's not converted, and convert it yourself. But there is actually four, so let's get into them. So we'll begin at the very beginning with the first main option you have. And this is actually buying a pre-converted camper van. Now, when buying a house, you have your wish list. You want three bedrooms, you want a big garden, you want a massive garage so you can fit your vans in there, your Porsche, you want a swim pool in the garden which is heated. Well, yes, it, it is a wish list, but dependent on your budget and current availability, Inevitably, there's gonna to have to be sacrifices to be made. And this is the same with buying a pre-converted van. A pre-converted van or ready-made camper van is already fitted out, usually with the kitchen and the pop top, the kitchen units, the bed, etc., and all the other components needed for van life living accommodation. However, these components might not actually be what's on your wish list. And we did discuss this in the first video I did. A pre-converted van will more than likely not take all the items on your personal wish list. Some aspects will be better than what you need and some will inevitably be inferior to what you need. Compromises need to be made when buying through this method. You may not actually also know who's done the work and what standards they've actually been done to. Is the van compliant with regulation? Does it have any certificates of safety coming with it? There are so many unknowns here, and we'll come onto this again in a little bit more detail later on. Now, the second option is to buy a base van and take this to your chosen converter to have it converted to exactly what you need. This way, you can ensure that the base van which you're building your project from is actually the correct specification for what you need. Now, it's not easy buying a brand new T6.1 at the moment because obviously Volkswagen have taken them out of production. There are a few still coming through, but it is going to be harder and harder to get your hands on a brand new T6.1. So for this, we're probably going to be looking at a used van. Now, this could be a T6.1, or it could be a T6, a T5, even a T4. The same principles apply. So you've bought your base van, you've got what you want, so you need to choose a converter to take it to. You need to find out exactly what works they're going to carry out, how they're going to carry them out, to what standards. How are you gonna know this? I've discussed this previously and you need to make sure that you find a reputable converter who can actually carry out the work to your specification to a high standards of craftsmanship within regulation for the conversion and above all else, safe. Obtaining recommendations from other people who've had their vans converted and also having a look at the conversions which they've completed will actually help you in this. I will go into further details on this in a moment, but I'm pretty sure there will be some very good conversion companies near you. I know there are a few around here. When done properly, this option can be extremely beneficial because the van is actually gonna to be totally bespoke to actually what you want as the customer. You can specify everything from start to finish. So it really is gonna be everything on your wish list done for your van, exactly how you want it. You can save money on the components you don't need and spend more on the components which you do need. Buy the extras like a coffee machine that pops up at the touch of a button electronically, or maybe a big screen entertainment system, if that's the kind of thing you want in your camper van. You've got so much scope with this option because it's your conversion. You're requesting what you want in there. It's a blank canvas. You can make it exactly how you want it. Now moving on to number three, and it is kind of similar. You buy the base vehicle yourself. You do the conversion, but you actually do the conversion physically yourself. This clearly depends on the skill level which you actually have and can lead to some major problems if you don't do it correctly. However, it isn't a difficult project to complete if you are capable. And once you've done it, the level of achievement of you actually building your own van is fantastic something you could be really really proud of the cost of this conversion itself should actually be less than taking it to a converter 
because you are going to be saving on those labour costs. There are some aspects of a self-build though which can be overlooked and if not done correctly can actually be really dangerous, if not fatal. Has any additional seating you're installing or the bed actually been done safely? Has it been done properly? The specifications, the sign off these products have actually got within the safety tests have been done a specific way and you need to follow them exactly as they are. Are all the electrics installed correctly using the correct gauge wire, the correct fixings fixed properly to the vehicle, fused properly? Is there a gland for the cables coming through the roof, each cable coming through the metalwork or even the plastic pop top? It needs to be in a gland to protect that cable. It's a moving vehicle. Cables can come frayed with the movement and the vibration. Make sure it's done properly. And if you do do the electrics yourself, I really would recommend that you have them checked out by a professional to make sure that you have actually done it correctly. A simple mistake, insecure cables can cause massive problems. It can cause fires if they've not been done properly. I really do recommend if you have done a self build, make sure it's checked out by a professional. This also goes for the gas insulation. Now I know a lot of you, even on your self builds, you don't do this yourself because you're not comfortable with it. But if you do, get it checked out, get it signed off by a gas safe professional. It really could save you in the long run. And these two items, gas and electric, really should be done by professionals, even in option two. When you are speaking to these converters about converting your van, find out who's going to be doing your electrics and your gas. Is it going to be Bob, who's also manufacturing the kitchen units and cutting a hole in your roof for the pop top? Is he actually qualified? Is he a competent person to be doing these? Is he gas safe registered? The all things which need to be looked at to make sure that your conversion is safe. One of the big aspects, you're spending a lot of money on this van. So one, if it goes up in flames or becomes damaged, you're going to lose a lot of money. But two, if you're in there and something goes wrong, it, it doesn't bear thinking about. It needs to be safe. It needs to be done properly. Make sure that they are looked over by professionals or if it's being converted by a professional, make sure it is being done by a professional. So option four, well, the first three can be done on any vehicle, a T4, a T5, a T6, a T6.1. But if you're looking for a brand new vehicle, then option four is for you. This is for brand new M1 motor caravan registered on the DVLA V5C registration document. Whole vehicle type approved vans. The first one that'll spring to your mind is the Volkswagen California. Obviously it's been around for a number of years and for very, very good reason. It's the official camper van from Volkswagen. It's not actually a transporter. It never is registered as a transporter. It is a type approved vehicle in its own right. The shell starts out as one, but it's upgraded and strengthened. Remember that, upgraded and strengthened before it can be type approved in order for it to pass the required safety tests for it being a motor caravan and this is required for the higher speed limits which the motor caravan is actually capable of. The California is not cheap but it certainly does hold its value. Residual values remain extremely high and actually over the course of a whole lifespan of a vehicle it can actually work out cheaper to own a California than it can to buy a panel van and have it converted because it doesn't depreciate as much. It is a California. There are various different models for the Volkswagen California. You've obviously got the California Beach and you've got the California Ocean and which has just been announced and the specking options of this is gonna be released tomorrow, I believe, and that's the Volkswagen California Surf. So I'll be interested to see exactly what features that actually has, but it's not the only Volkswagen approved camper van you can actually buy. There are others which are just as good, if not actually better, because these actually hold the NCC approved, the highest level of safety for motor caravan accommodation possible. Not all campervan conversions comply with regulation, and a van which is approved has actually passed 
a lot of tests set out by the NCC, safety tests in order to get this approval. The NCC works with British and European standards organisations, the Health and Safety Executive, Gas Safe, Fire Inspectorate, to ensure that the vans comply. These vans are not often found with extensive styling kits, massive wheels, etc. Because to be VW approved, certain restrictions do apply. You may think that these vans would be a lot more expensive because they are a lot safer and they are very well specced, but you probably would be surprised. I saw one and I certainly was. I showed it on a previous video when I saw one from Bespoke. I kept seeing blown away because I genuinely was. I was really surprised at the high spec levels for the actual value which you get. The cost of the van is a lot less than you actually see a lot of these other massively styled, massive wheels, all showing not actually an awful lot of camper van. I was very, very surprised. And there's quite a few companies who do this. Do have a look it up on the NCC approval list. You might actually find one which is near you. And hopefully, if you've already got a van, yours is actually on the list, which means it is compliant with regulation to the highest safety standards. And if I was buying a brand new camper van, then this is definitely the route I'd be going down. And the reason I'm so firm on this is because I've seen certain things and I'm gonna bring those to you in a future video. So those are four options for actually buying a camper van. But if you're more interested in one, two or three, so you need to know more about the base van which you're looking for, then do have a look at that video here from Thursday or what not to do when buying a van. Have a look at that video here. Take care, thanks for watching.